Hello guys, welcome back to Beauty With Do, and today we're talking about prebiotics, probiotics in La Roche-Posay Tolerienne Double Repair Face Moisturizer. <music> welcome back guys, I'm Eduardo Medatz. I'm an actor, singer, entrepreneur, and skincare lover, and I created Beauty With Do to help you save time and money. So if you like that, make sure you're subscribed, comment, like, and let's jump right in. Before we talk about applying probiotics or prebiotics in skincare, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about probiotics and prebiotics in food because I feel like that's definitely a game changer, at least it was for me. So this is my first tip and that's what I brought you guys first before we talk about the product. In terms of probiotics, I brought two of them that are my favorite. The first one is has been the Lifeway Organic Kefir Culture is 1%, the low fat one. I know if this is grass fat, but it's grass fat, but it's really, really good. I really uh, enjoy putting on smoothies or like eating in a breakfast, sort of like as a yogurt, and I really like it. And the second one is the Farmhouse Culture Naturally Probiotic. I've been trying to record this for quite a while, so they're literally sweating. So this is my last. This is my last take. I'm just gonna go back and put them on the fridge and I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I don't want them to, to to gain temperature because these are raw probiotics, which are even better than if you buy them like uh, and pills and take them. So I really, really recommend them. And how do we feed these probiotics? We feed them, uh, we feed the good bacteria with prebiotics, with solu usually which is fiber. And these are my two favorite ones as well that I've been using for so long, I mean, since I've moved here. The first is the organic psyllium husk, which is great. Uh, you can find in many brands. I prefer the, uh, the 365 one. And also recently I, star I started taking the acacia fiber which is from Heather's Tummy Fiber. It's really good, it's much thinner, and I really, really like it. So I definitely recommend uh, com adding these to your, uh, to your daily diet because they are so good and they help you tremendously. This, I feel like, is the most valuable tip in terms of using prebiotics and probiotics, is actually eating them. Uh, there's also like veggies, obviously, uh, which have uh, probiotic a prebiotic fiber but applying topically to the skin is something that has been quite new and I feel that it's a lot of also marketing because there haven't been many researches on on actually the benefits of um, using a probiotic moisturizer even though La Roche-Posay makes the claim that they the thermal water is prebiotic which means that it, it could possibly in theory <laughs> help the overall balance of the skin uh, because of the high mineral content in the water. I mean, they have this whole center in France for treatment using the thermal water, which is really good. And I've used it many times, not only the La Roche-Posay one, but the Aven, the Vichy. They, I mean, I've, I used to use them a lot back in the days. So this is the first ingredient, actually. So jumping right into the ingredient is actually the thermal water, which, which is really good. I honestly believe they added the prebiotic recently i don't know if something changed in the water but when i used to to use back a few years ago i don't remember reading about like being prebiotic but maybe something has changed the second ingredient in the in the moisturizer is glycerin which is a humectant which is a great a great hydration and it's present in most moisturizers it's really really basic simple straightforward this has dimethicone which is the third one which is the the, the silicone that helps prevent transepidermal water loss, which is what we want in a moisturizer, right? Is to prevent all the hydration that we um, we have on the surface of the skin from evaporating, which is not that bad at all. I mean, people sometimes fear uh, silicones, but I mean, it's they're really, really safe and there are many, many people uh, talking about it and research saying they're very, very low risk. So, and this is actually here to help you prevent and lock in uh, the moisture that we are generating after we wash our face. So this is really good. The next ingredient that is like also a starlight is niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, which we know we're gonna talk, you're gonna hear me like talk about all day. So if the product has niacinamide, that's good. They're ve it's very anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, brightening. We love it. And it also has one ceramide, the ceramide threes or ceramide MP, which is very good to help repairing the, the skin barrier. So these are mainly the five ingredients that 
are present in this moisturizer. So it's a very good size. I usually apply after I wash or if I want more hydration, I put like a humectant first. And then I put this, I wait, let it dry, and then I come with uh, my tretinoin or with uh, any other actives that I, I might use. And it's very good. Pricing wise, it retails for $19. It's for 75 ml or 2.5 fluid ounces. And I feel like it's a definitely a good drugstore choice. So if you use it, let me know in the comments uh, down below. If you haven't, I think you should definitely give it a try. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.